subtraction word problem how much is left if we subtract 26 from 62 what do we have to do here we have to take away 26 from 62 so we write it like this then we have to find the answer how do we do it first we write the problem properly in tens and units form. Now, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Can you do it? No? So, we have to borrow. Let us see how to do that. Let's break apart 110 and give it to the units. We change the values in the tens and units place. Now we can subtract. We can subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. That gives us the final answer. So 62 minus 26 is equal to 36. How much is left if we subtract 65 from 81? What do we have to do here? We have to take away 65 from 81. So, we write it like this. Then, we have to find the answer. How do we do it? First, we write the problem properly in tens and units form. Now, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Can you do it? No? So, we have to borrow. Let us see how to do that. Let's break apart 110 and give it to the units. We change the values in the tens and units place. Now we can subtract. We can subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. That gives us the final answer. So, 81 minus 65 is equal to 16. What is the difference between 87 and 39? What do we have to do here? We have to do 87 minus 39. So, we write it like this. Then, we have to find the answer. How do we do it? First, we write the problem properly in tens and units form. Now, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Can you do it? No? So, we have to borrow. Let us see how to do that. Let's break apart 110 and give it to the units. We change the values in the tens and units place. Now we can subtract. We can subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. That gives us the final answer. So 87 minus 39 is equal to 48. What is the difference between 74 and 46? What do we have to do here? We have to do 74 minus 46. So, we write it like this. Then, we have to find the answer. How do we do it? First, we write the problem properly in tens and units form. Now, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Can you do it? No? So, we have to borrow. Let us see how to do that. Let's break apart 110 and give it to the units. We change the values in the tens and units place. Now we can subtract. We can subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. 
that gives us the final answer. So, 74 minus 46 is equal to 28. Rhea had 61 beads. She gave 37 beads to her sister. How many beads does she have now? What do we have to do here? We have to find out how many beads she has left. From 61 beads, she has given away 37 beads. We have to do 61 minus 37. So we write it like this. Then we have to find the answer. How do we do it? First, we write the problem properly in tens and units form. Now, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Can you do it? No. So, we have to borrow. Let us see how to do that. Let's break apart 110 and give it to the units. We change the values in the tens and units place. Now, we can subtract. We can subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. That gives us the final answer. So 61 minus 37 is equal to 24. Seema has 51 toys. She gave 25 toys to Meera. How many toys are left with her? What do we have to do here? We have to find out how many toys she has left. From 51 toys, she has given away 25 toys. We have to do 51 minus 25. So, we write it like this. Then, we have to find the answer. How do we do it? First, we write the problem properly in tens and units form. Now, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Can you do it? No? So, we have to borrow. Let us see how to do that. Let's break apart 110 and give it to the units. We change the values in the tens and units place. Now we can subtract. We can subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. That gives us the final answer. So 51 minus 25 is equal to 26. Kavita has 52 cards. She gave 29 cards to Jaya. How many cards does Kavita have now? What do we have to do here? We have to find out how many cards she has left. From 52 cards, she has given away 29 cards. We have to do 52 minus 29. So, we write it like this. Then, we have to find the answer. How do we do it? First, we write the problem properly in tens and units form. Now, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Can you do it? No? So, we have to borrow. Let us see how to do that. Let's break apart 110 and give it to the units. We change the values in the tens and units place. Now we can subtract. We can subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. That gives us the final answer. So 52 minus 29 is equal to 23. 